It's Saturday morning, and it's time for Love Morning. It's Saturday morning, it's time for Love Morning with you. It's Saturday morning, it's time for Love Morning. It's Saturday morning, it's time for Love Morning with you. And you, and you, and you. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Happy Saturday to you. I remember when Saturday morning was so exciting because there were cartoons on. There was a time when you could not just watch things on demand. You had to watch it when it aired. And uh, cartoons were on once a week, Saturday morning. It was very exciting. And then you had to watch the commercials from the toys and then you wanted the toys and then you begged for them for Christmas. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. Oh, I love you, Susan. Good morning. Oh, uh, oh my gosh. I had such a good time handing out ice cream yesterday. Uh, I still have a cooler filled with ice cream. It's a fat Amazon catalog. The love, the the cartoons. Good morning. Uh, oh yeah, I I guess it means for for the what kids want for Christmas. Oh, I just uh. Uh, that the kids see, I see, I got it. Oh, do they send an actual physical catalog? I remember getting like the Sears catalog or something. Oh, a Toys R Us catalog too. Oh yeah, they 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 sure know how to get you. I uh, boy, I can I I can remember going through those catalogs so. <laughs> My mind just went awash with stuff. Well, good morning. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning. I love you. And good morning, Pierre. In Switzerland. How cool. You're at the uh, festival, right? I hope you're having a great time. Uh, it was funny. So yesterday, well, two days, nights ago, I learned that my local grocery store was blowing out plant-based ice cream, six pints for 97 cents. It was two for a dollar, and then it went to three for a dollar, and then it went to three for a dollar, and then buy one, get one free. So six for a dollar. So I was hoping to, to, to buy as much as I could and give it away, and then it was a cloudy day, so I was like, well, crap. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to buy as much as I can. I'm going to put it in coolers. I'm going to buy dry ice, and I'll give it away later. So I went downtown, and... Bought everything that I cleaned the shelves out. I got about 50 pints. Um, I don't know what the math was. It was like $6 or something like that. I, I don't know. You can do the math for me. Um, and, and I'm like, well, I'll just see if anybody wants ice cream, even though it's a little cloudy out. And everybody did. So I just handed out a bunch and ended up running into a friend that I often see down at Taco at First Saturdays, which was cool, although I'm blanking on his name. But he's in the video. He was as entertaining and, and excited to see me as always. It was super fun. And he gave me a bunch of wise words that maybe someday will make sense to me. But he also, he also saw his reflection in my camera. He goes, he goes, that looks sexy. <laughs> so that was great. It was super fun. I still have more to give away. I might bring it to Fiesta del Sol, which is a uh, Solana Beach free music festival that happens every year. I'm going to go there this afternoon and maybe I'll give away ice cream to regular folk and see how it goes. It is always an experience to try to give, to gift to people who do not have any sort of narrative of why you would gift. You know, people are so embedded in a transactional world that if you try to give some to somebody just because you want them to be happier, they're like, what's your angle? What do you want? No, thank you. I don't want to owe you. No, no, no. I just want you to have ice cream, man. Uh, oh, right when I came out of the store, there was, a woman saw me in my cart filled with ice cream, and she's like, is it that good? And I was like, 
it actually is good. I've been eating this like crazy, and they just blew it out for six for a buck. And she's like, six for a dollar? Oh my gosh. And I go, but I bought it all. And she's like, oh. So I went, oh. And I handed her a, a, a pint, and she was so excited. And I was like, oh man, this is already going great. And then I tried to give it to a, a kid that was waiting for a bus, and he did not want to have anything to do with a stranger giving him something, which I guess I get. But it was a sealed thing of ice cream. Uh, welcome, Jack. Hello to you in Kentucky. And hello to you, K. Nicole. Seriously, cone. It was such a beautiful opportunity for me because one, crapper cone is, you know, this metaphor that I use all the time. And two, Pink Heart is known for giving away vegan ice cream. So I was like, this is fate. This is, this is destiny. Hey, Paul. Good morning. Always the right time for ice cream. That's so true. I believe that. I almost feel like I should have a bite right now because I am ice cream rich right now. You got a friend with ice cream. Good morning, Emily. Hello to you, love ambassador. Good morning. Love you. And hey, Jennifer. Good morning to you. Uh, thank you. You know, I, I initially I was not liking this hair color because it's a little too magenta for me. But... I'm kind of liking it as it bleaches a little bit and it gets a little lighter on top and I've been getting quite a few compliments. So, you know, just goes to show, don't judge a first book by its first edition. Hey Izzy, hello to you in Barcelona. And hello Amy. Smart kid listened to his parents. To be fair, he wasn't a child. He was probably 18, 19, 20. You know, he was, he was just, he wasn't waiting for a school bus. He was a, you know, but you're right. You're right. Would you take ice cream from this guy? I mean, there's basically like, there's after school specials that basically say, do not do that. Good morning, Amy. Oh, I'm so glad the Crapper Cone video is shared. I, I, one of the, the cool joy that I've had is, is the number of people who have used it as a tool to talk to their kids because it's an easy to digest metaphor, you know, about trying to stay positive. Can you hear my, my uh, washing machine? Sorry, it's so loud in here. Uh, Sarah, good morning, love you. Welcome to this day. Welcome to Love Morning. We're going to have a hug in a few minutes. Um, track! Good morning, brother. Yay, love you. Good to see you. Um, oh, cool. The, it's not too loud. Good. Yeah, I. the thing about injecting ice cream with drugs is that my drug budget only includes me. I can only afford to buy drugs for myself. So I'm not going to be giving drugs away on Halloween or to strangers on the bus. It's just not how it works. People, people have a very misunderstanding of how drug users distribute their, uh, their stashes. Ah. So before we do the hug, I'm going to see if this works. If you, I, did anyone see the video already from yesterday? I'm going to show you. It's just, it's just uh, 90 seconds. Um, this should work. If it doesn't, then you can uh, say in, in, as a comment saying this isn't working, but I'm going to try it. I just heard that they were blowing out ice cream, six pint cream for a dollar. So I bought all they had and decided to give it away to friends and neighbors experiencing homelessness. Do you want any ice cream? Oh, all right. Let me get you a spoon. Thank you, man. There you go. It didn't work. It was too. It was too big. It was that was too big of a. That was a problem. Well, live and learn, I guess. Wonder how I can fix that. Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh well. It was. Uh. It was the the video is you know like. This it was only showing this much of the video which. As much as I like my face, I don't like it blown up that big. Uh, so it'll it'll be on my my 
my feed if you want to see it or my YouTube channel. It's there as well. Uh, Amy is grateful today for reserving a hotel tonight just for a little me, myself, and and I retreat. Yay! Stepping away from the things I should do and focus on what I want to call into my life. Good for you. Self-care. Muy importante. I'm using OBS, actually, Sarah. That, that was, this, this is OBS that we're, we're, you're seeing me on right now. I just don't know how to change the size of my media in, in, as a, in that way. I can, sometimes, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but the ice cream giving away was super fun. It was, uh, it also, I mean, it, it felt really good. Like, one of the, the whole goals of this love morning and the love ambassador concept is that when you practice gifting and you, and you just kind of try to just keep reminding yourself that I am a love ambassador, I am someone who is kind, I am someone that gifts, then most days the, the, the only opportunity you have to practice is just to say hello and good morning and smile and be kind, which is enough, it's enough. But then some days you see an opportunity to do something more. Maybe it's give somebody a ride to the airport or buy the item of somebody that doesn't have enough money for their last thing on their cart. Or you see that ice cream is on sale and so you buy it all up. But it, you, have to, you have to train your brain so that then when you see the opportunity, you don't miss it. So I was really kind of proud that yesterday that I acted on the opportunity. I mean, the, the universe really like hit me over the head. like. You've been eating this ice cream, you love it. You already filled your fridge. Go so and two, ice cream crapper cone, and three, pink heart ice cream giving away. It was kinda like the universe was like, Bro, we teed this up for you. Just swing. Just take the swing. And it was great. Uh so we'll have a hug. Ooh, I think it's time for a hug now. Just as the spin cycle is finishing up. Oh, before I have, I'm getting art installed tomorrow. So Monday when I broadcast, you're going to see, there's going to be art behind me that uh, is going to be new. I can't wait to show you. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, and then in a month, I'm going to have a bunch of framed art that I just uh, brought in to get framed. So I'll be having like a housewarming video tour in about a month. So May... June, early July, I guess. Uh, hey, Penny, good morning. And good morning, everyone. So wherever you are in this morning, or as we share this moment, as, or if you're watching this recording another time and place, let's give ourselves a hug. And let's appreciate this moment, appreciate this body, appreciate this ability to have interconnected lives, appreciate that we have this abundance, that we have the ability to gift in so many ways, through our energy and our attention and our kindness and many other ways too. And keeping that awareness of our, what is our inventory? How can we gift so that when we see the opportunity, we can give it. And being in community so we can remind each other and have this practice is so important so that we can be strong together, being love ambassadors in the world. And so let's feel that strength of community and connection as we take a deep breath in and squeeze On behalf of Grandpa Caleb and each one of you beautiful ambassadors of love, thank you for being here for this love morning, for this Hug Nation hug. I appreciate you. I love you. Good morning, Mingo. The love sign is uh, was art made by Kiwi, a Burning Man campmate. You see it in the mirror, but it's on that wall. It's pretty big. It's about, the letters are probably a foot and a half tall. Maybe two, yeah, two feet maybe. Hey, I'm going to Fiesta del Sol too. So maybe I will see you later. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I, I think maybe like two o'clock maybe. 
My brother's birthday is tomorrow. So we're going to, he's having some friends. We're all meeting there to, to have some fun together. Did I mention my brother's birthday is tomorrow? And my birthday is in a week, May 28th. But I am going to Hawaii for my birthday. Did I tell you that? Yeah, I, on a whim, I'm going to go visit a friend on a farm he works at in Hawaii. Ooh, well, that's an exciting post that you need to find a leather worker like the one in San Diego. I am certainly eager to see whatever it is that you get made. I still wear mine occasionally, the the custom leather that we had made. And did I did you see that I I, I have a I put up the picture in my bedroom of that Darren did of us. I hope that's okay that I just said that. Uh so my bedroom is now filled with uh pictures of naked people. Most three big pictures of me naked, two paintings of naked women and one painting of uh, me and another naked person. Uh, happy early birthday, Pamela. Mingle. If you are grateful for something or you've got something coming up today or something that just happened, please share with us so that we can feel your gratitude and feel your, your energy. Oh, oh, but there's another thing. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on that I wanted to share. Okay, so I think I told you that with my, now it's my place, I, I put up on display all of my old journals. I've always wanted to display my old journals. And so I put them up and I, and I decided last night to just like go through one and my jaw fell to the floor. There were things that I so had forgotten about. I used to journal, so there's like, there's like, there's, I, there's the journaling description diary writing of my first ever bisexual experience. It was wild to reread it. Um, and there's like sketches of ideas for Burning Man costumes and, or, or outfits. There's ideas for like logos. Like check out this logo that I designed that I'm like, why did I not develop this more? I don't know if you'll able to see this, but isn't that fucking cool? I mean, that feels like that should be the logo for Pink Heart. And some other like business ideas, I'm like, whoa, that's still a good idea. And there's, there's notes here of an idea to do yoga classes online via webcam as, a, as like a business idea under the, I had a domain name called Digital Ohm and my girlfriend at the time was a yoga instructor and this was in 2001, 2002. And I mean, think about how early that would have been to do something like an online yoga class. Man, so cool. And that's just the first journal that I pulled out. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to relearn about my youth. I should have I should have gone through them before I wrote my book, but you know, maybe that'll be part of part two. Uh, Sherry, good morning. I'm so glad you enjoyed the video. I, I posted the video in my coaching group of since our top our, our topic this week is about sexuality. I posted the video of. The, the one-man show I did several years ago where I, I, I talked about my experiences with the adult industry and, and uh, my, my sexuality journey through adolescent insecurities and fears and hang-ups and how it affected my life. Uh, and so I shared that uh, as a kind of... Because it, 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 I think there's a real gift in shared vulnerability, you know, and so, yeah, so I'm really glad that you enjoyed it, Sherry. In fact, if you buy my book, it's in my book, it's one of my chapters, and the QR code, if you, and if you have my book, the QR codes will take you to a video, so you can watch that. If you have my book, you have a link to, to that video. It's like an hour and a half one-man show I did. Uh... 
Sarah is grateful for getting an interview out for yesterday and all the lovely friends I've been meeting at local events, all the art and music my friends make, and the support I've been getting throughout my journey. Yeah! Pierre is grateful for all the beautiful people I've been met in Switzerland and all the random adventures that come with them. Steering lesson and getting exactly where I need to be. Yeah! Uh, all right. How wonderful. Oh, Natasha is grateful for sunshine, the Pacific Northwest, so you can finish your garden. Uh, sweet. I've got a little bitty garden in the front yard. My zucchini plant is so big that I may have to cut off, trim it so that, it, so that the tomato plant gets some sun. It's like covering the rest of the garden. And uh, I've got a t tomato, cherry tomato plant that's just getting started and a, a watermelon plant. And then a plumeria that Tommy gave me that I put into the ground out there. So I am super grateful for this day. I'm grateful that last night I went to dinner with uh, my friends Leif and Nicole. And then got to hang out with Leif. And he's a dear friend that we've shared a lot of experiences with. So it was cool to, to reconnect. And... Uh, yeah, so grateful for that. Grateful I get to see my brother today. Grateful for this love morning practice with you guys. Yeah, feeling really grateful. Thanks for, for being a part of this day with me. I hope you have a beautiful continuation of your day. And if you wanted to see the video of the homeless helping, it is on my YouTube channel, the Hug Nation YouTube channel. I put it up there, I think, yeah. And we can all go out and be love ambassadors today. So as I go to this festival today, this free street festival in Solana Beach, I'm gonna practice being a love ambassador. And I'm gonna bring stickers and give to people, maybe even bring ice cream to gift. Cause I gotta gift it sometime soon it's on dry ice right now, but that doesn't last forever. Get this, so the, the dry ice was like five times as expensive as the ice cream. The ice cream was like $6 for 50. The dry ice cost me 30 bucks. I was like, oh well, live and learn. Live and learn. <sighs> See you soon, have a beautiful day. And thanks for being a wonderful part of my morning. Let's all cons uh, distribute this good energy we've created together. I love you. Have a beautiful day.